The war on Christmas is finally over. And now the survivors are settling down and building a city of their own. The other factions are friendly, the dangers are minimal, but now we live in a delicate, precious world, and even the slightest damage is deadly. Social fights become massacres, manhunting rabbits can destroy cities, conduits exploding can end our bloodline, because, like the fallen snow, this is a delicate, beautiful, peaceful world, but fragile. Oh and very, very silly. Welcome to a sequel series to our Christmas War. You don't have to have watched previous series at all. It certainly was one of the reward series of all time, but to see us through to the end of the year and to give me time to work on a new big old mod pack, we are going to have a fun, weirdly challenging, very silly build base experience. We start with all of the research. Santa's going to provide us with the presents to help us build. Trade and visitors will be very frequent. Our goal is not only to give our veterans a lovely retirement, but to build a society, a happy Christmas city. And if we're feeling very, 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 very brave, our end goal is to collect the weapons of our fallen comrades to go in a Christmas museum in memoriam. But when any damage at all is lethal, the last thing you want to do is poke around a dangerous complex or annoy a local village trying to steal their secrets. I will put this up on Steam if you're interested in playing along, but it's a silly challenge run focusing on being the most dangerous, peaceful run going. Our Christmas War veterans, the only survivors of our colony. Sparkles, Stuffing, Bauble, and Blitzen. Now, since the end of the war, only a couple of days ago, our people have changed, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. These people have seen horrific things. They've experienced a loss like we couldn't even imagine. They fought to the very bitter end, and they've survived. And now, God damn it, I'm giving them a happy ending. We are going to build them a beautiful, precious Christmas base in memory of all the ones that we lost along the way. The ideology is something followed by every faction on the world. It is very straightforward. We avoid violence. We are equal and fair to everybody. And that's it. There are no unnecessary complications. Nothing you have to worry about. Nothing you have to be concerned with. It's just build a lovely base and try and not stub your toe or chip a nail or do anything, even the most minor amount of damage, otherwise you will die horribly. Just here to build a city with a little bit of danger, because I don't think me building a city for four hours would be particularly entertaining. So now we're gonna build a city with the chance of people dying instantly due to some bullshit, which now in hindsight, I'm not sure is entertaining either. <laughs> you know what, think of this like Christmas jewelry Egypt. I think that's a great way to describe it. We're gonna keep things on theme. We're gonna set ourselves some nice building goals. We'll need a, an ice rink, of course. We're gonna need a market. We're gonna need a workshop. Maybe a Christmassy fortress. But for now, oh my God, look at all these decorations. But for now, we're gonna cut down some trees and we're gonna build a shed to live in until I can plan things out. And I think that's gonna be a big part of what we do here. I'm not just gonna jump in and go crazy. I think I do wanna do a lot more planning. I'm not, however, gonna try and build the whole city in one fell swoop. I've learned my lesson. I do that too many times, and to be fair, 90% of the time it works. What the hell is this? Me trying to find structure, some idiots called it build base. We have a lot of memes and a lot of silly stuff that can happen in this playthrough. It's not just going to be a cut and dry city builder. I also have to be tremendously careful. Oh, uh, you know, some of them have jobs, and in fact, some of them will have schedules and everything because... This is the war on Christmas. It's the same save game. It's a sequel in the most literal way I've ever done any sequel series. I just carried on from the same save. Let's set our people up and, and get our people set up with, with what their roles in the colony are going to be. And I'm not just going to turn people away because we've, say, already got a good plants character. Now, Sparkles, before he was General Sparkles, was an elf. He's very good at crafting. And I think that's a good job for you. Poor Sweet Stuffing, who went through maybe the worst things possible. His wife and child died and his fiance before that was also killed. So he was on a bit of a streak of bad luck. He has discovered his love of food and alcohol. He is a man who l loves to be chef. It's a new life. It's a new beginning. It's a new chef. Now, Bauble is one of Santa's battle elves, uh, or one of evil Nats' battle elves that uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with. He does have... I mean, we are still going to need a colony defender. We could still have animals go mad. We could still have people go mad. Here we go. A lovely, beautiful log cabin. I mean, it's quite... <laughs> I hate you. It's such it's such lazy content. Yes, let's laugh at the silly concrete dog. So lazy. My god. What if we have the kitchen in a separate building? 
let's get up. This is the kitchen, but we'll have this is the recreation room. This can be the dining room, and then we'll have them walk the meals over. That's kind of cute. It's a peaceful time, okay? We don't we, we don't need to go crazy with the with the with the efficient base layout or anything like that. We can make this like a proper nice little sissy. And to be completely honest, this is my Christmas present to me. Just building a base. That's it. That's all we're doing here. People are going to die horribly, and I'm sure it's going to be a cavalcade of comedic errors. But for the most part. For the most part, it's just a lovely build base experience. If I see anyone ever post a box room in Discord, that's it. You're fucking banned. I'm not pissing around anymore. Oh my god, that's optimized. Holy shit. Oh, Sparkles. Oh, death is troubling. He's remembering the war. He's a very troubled man, but that's why I'm hoping we can we can make things better. We'll build a therapist's office, and we're, we'll, we're really trying to help these people. Can't really afford an all-day recreation schedule here, fellas. We're going to have to hit the ground running because we've got a city to build. Not that there's any rush, of course, but we've just got to get the, we've got to get the basics down. We're going to have visitors any day now. This is a save that's been running for 438 days, and it is running now at 18, 2,000, 3,000 TPS. If you ever doubt my technical ability again, I will find you. Speaking of which, hello. A group from the Freed Elves. Now, the Freed Elves aren't necessarily all elves. They're just people who have been freed along the way, safe from that empire being toppled. It's Eulogia. Eulogia Primpkips. <laughs> what a very charming name, Eulogia. Look, we're going to have to get someone else on building because Sparkles has already bricked it. Unbelievable. Bobble, Bobble, listen. Let's get these bedrooms sorted. Then you can all have a nice night's sleep. Then we haven't got to worry about the daisies anymore. Let's just let's just push through for a couple of days. You've quite literally been through much worse than this. It's a lot of furniture. Too bad. I'm going to hide probably most of them. Let's get some lovely bedrooms down. Wow. I'm going to try and give them a, a little bit of privacy, right? And spread these beds out so that they are a little bit more isolated away from one another. Look at that. You see, I'm very thoughtful. I just love these cottage tables. You know, I, if, if, I don't know if there's a word for that. Maybe cottaging. I love cottaging. I just turn in place into cottages. I just love it. Barkus has finally woken up, so let's get him to work. Sorry about this. Just gonna do a bit of, bit of midnight building. You, my neighbors, on a Saturday morning at 7 a.m. What a luxury, luxury, luxury life. What a fantastic log cabin. Uh, for recreation, we're probably gonna be a little limited here for a while. Uh, just anything we can build out of wood. A D and D player handbook that uses 10 wood and another 10 wood. Oh, we're gonna have a party. Oh, who needs recreation when you've got each other? I love that. That's the community spirit right there. I mean, only Blitzen seems to have been invited. <laughs> Bauble stood out the door like a creep. <laughs> he was getting, he's getting his confidence up, okay? He's a battle elf. He's not a, he's not a party animal. Stuffing's here. Oh, Sparkles, come on. Come join in the festivities. There you go, attending party. Oh, Bauble's trying to fit in, but he's just so terrible. He's just telling, just god awful jokes. It's a tough situation, but I feel like we can handle it. Oh, this is so goddamn wholesome. Oh, god, now Sparkles is on it. I hope you draw in the wrong layer. <laughs> the horrendous thing to say to anyone. Oh, are they all actually... Let's check the social tab. What do they think of one another? They're just kind of getting on. They're just kind of getting on. Stuffing, yeah, okay. He's he's fine with people. Not so hot and bauble right now. But look, this is really the beginning of a new life. So let's give them... They're, they're, they're covering up a lot of their old problems here. Things are going to be a little tense anyway, because they're living in a very, very cold building. Let's open some of these damn doors. Maybe let some... Let some heat travel. Uh, yeah, preferably not outside, though. I will admit, I'm a little bit in awe that nobody has died yet. The problem is, if we want to build some stoves, we're going to have to go to this mountain. Is there any steel on the outside? No compacted steel at all. Oh, good. So we're going to have to do a little bit of mining over here. Oh, there's coal. Oh, well, that's good. That's great. I look forward to my stockpile being rammed with 15 types of coal. We have to do a little mining, and this is dangerous because there are insects. We've still got to worry about wild animals and that type of thing. Oh god, we do have a good miner, don't we, as well? Uh, not, 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 not bad, anyway, in terms of stuffing. Let's just do a little gentle, little gent- Oh god, no, 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 no. Let's just do a little gentle mining. No, how have I- What do I- What am I doing wrong? Help me. I'm gonna do a little bit of gentle, gentle mining. Very careful, very gentle mining, and I'm gonna keep a bloody close eye on stuffing. Because if anything happens, I might just cry. It's not a happy ending if they instantly get crushed by rocks or bugs. Or both. <gasps> Christmas presents! Sparkles has been a very good colonist this year. Santa's already sent us some gifts. Santa, you legend. Ooh. What is in there, I wonder? I don't think I've seen a black Christmas present before. Hello. What the hell is in that? Something very special, I certainly hope. It was steel. You knew exactly what I wanted, Santa. I think that's kind of how he works. We got a little chalky. We got a little... We got, I was going to say a little beer. 45. We got 45 beer. A little bit more steel. And then some Christmas grenades. <laughs> <laughs> but when you really don't want to deal with your mother-in-law. Christmas grenades? Except grenades are a lot like large baubles. They seem to have been crafted in an unknown legendary Christmas factory. 
And the way they work is not understandable under common science. Wow. Um, I could not think of a worse weapon to have in a series where any damage kills you. That seems like a horrendous idea. I think the sensible option is we take this 69 steel center gave us. I promise, I promise that was not intentional. And we build a mini quarry out of it. Plenty of places for it. And the mini quarries now are back to their usual. They don't just provide gingerbread. They'll give us all the things we need to, to kickstart the city. I would feel a lot safer having someone working in the quarry rather than mining out the mountain. It just seems like we're, we're inviting the insects to come and eat us. Let's build a little Christmas stockpile. What makes it a Christmas stockpile? I haven't decided yet. What I am going to do, though, is have a room for raw materials. We're going to have a room for uh, maybe weapons, armor, that type of thing. I'm going to divide it up, which I never do with my stockpiles because it's horribly inefficient. That's not what this series is about. If I cared about efficiency, I wouldn't have my people die after taking any amount of damage. It doesn't make any sense. Sparkles thinks you should give this settlement a name. What should the local settlement be called? I think let's call it something very simple. Something that sums up my goal for this place. Cozy City. If I could spell it right. Now, the quarry doesn't exactly scream coziness. I understand. It's a necessary evil. Eventually, we can get some little tin soldier mechanoids that can help out. You can get nice, comfortable deep drills as well. That couldn't hurt. Or... Maybe just bulk goods try to solve our problems and we and we get something to sell or trade with them. Become a crafting community. General Sparkles, or I guess I should just call him Sparkles now, does have a fantastic skill in artwork. Not a passion for it, just something he builds up naturally. By naturally, of course, I mean skill trainers. If I put a chair at the fishing spot, will they sit in the chair? Or will they always go to a specific area? Let's have a chat, see what they've got. We haven't got much to trade besides a whole bunch of wood right now, but... We might be able to get something just to kickstart things. Like a few components would be super, super nice. Santa sent us a lot of packaged farm meals. Jesus, that's, a, that's a, a tremendous amount. That's an overwhelming amount of meals. We'll take plenty of components. Thank you. I'm going to go heavy into the decorations. I want to make things feel very, very cozy. I want to make it feel alive. We've got this really cool fishing decor mod. Put down a little boat. It's not functional, but it looks fantastic. Or what about a giant hanging shark? I'm a big fan of that. Let's put that... Uh, Put that, like, right there. The implication being we caught enormous shark in this river, I suppose. Oh, presents. Hello. It's Sparkles again. Santa, I, I feel like you're quite biased. We should probably put a tree up in the in the living room then. Somewhere to store my... Oh, God, there's so much stuff. Oh, a little overwhelming. Uh, let's put one of these right... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we won't put it in the living room then. I've changed my mind for some reason. Oh, that is a big old Christmas tree. What about like the white Christmas tree? Oh, that's much more sensible. I like that. That's good. Got a red one. That looks like my Christmas tree in real life. I like that. Now, my Christmas tree is way nicer. You know, because I decorated it. Decorations are absolutely everywhere. Let me make a decorations tab before I lose my damn mind. This was supposed to be a lovely, cozy playthrough, and now the sun has gone out. Four Christmas presents. Oh, shit. It sparkles again. Hey, it sparkles. What the hell have you got going on with Santa? Put a nice little bit of decoration. So we get some new recruits. There's not really much calls for a massive amount of expansion. Now, I have got them quarrying some blocks. It's very slow, so they're just doing it in the quarry, right? 514 marble blocks for what eventually will be the Great Wall of Christmas City. How am I going to do this? Got the mountain at the top, which I really like. I really want to incorporate the roads that have naturally spawned in as well. Shit, what if we do something like... Oh, what's this? What is it? What's going on here? Instead of doing one enormous wall around the whole thing, why not do lots of little walls to cut off each segment? That could work better. I want to put down a little steely, like a little monument here, just to mark exactly where we broke ground. Where the city began, because it's quite li likely that when we expand, I'll, I'll tear some of this down. There's a reason I'm building everything out of, <laughs> out of wood right now. There you go. Amazing. I think we need a to-do list. So number one is going to be houses for every elf. Number two, we're going to need a workshop district. Uh, and I don't just want this to be like a workroom with everything in and the most efficient way. Distract? How appropriate. District. <laughs> I don't want it to be some hyper-efficient thing with all the right workbenches in the right place and uh, radios and optimal blah, blah, blah. No, we're going to make it. We're going to make it nice and decorative above everything else. We've got to decide what we want to produce as well. I, I did start putting down some walls there. You kind of see the shadow of it. And then I decided, you know what? No, this is Christmas City. People should be able to go freely um, uh, about the place. No walls. No locking things down. Maybe right at the edge if we build that far out. Maybe someone gets horribly murdered very suddenly by a frightening animal and then we decide, okay, we need to up the defenses a little bit. That seems like it could be something we go for. Oh, I thought of a really good one. Uh, number three, farming. I, I suppose hydroponics 
Hy hydroponics district. That seems good. Oh, oh, ice rink. I don't, I don't know how I, I can make that work. I don't really know what we'll do with that. We could, we could have like a dance area and I could kind of spoof it to look indoors. We could put the speakers down and that could look like an ice rink. That could be kind of fun. We need a Christmas market. More importantly, we've got to think how these people are going to apply their trade, right? So Sparkles, I think could do with some sort of art shop. So we're going to say um, Sparkles is, Sparkles is, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? Sculpting studio? Sparkles Sculptors. I like that. Stuffing, of course, needs a restaurant. Oh my god, their name was Stuffing and they've become a chef. I didn't even piece that together. Restor restaurant Stuffing. Beautiful. And then Bauble. Bauble, I'm not sure what we'll do with. I guess we'll have like a, a, a naughty, naughty list holding cells. I don't want to call it a prison. Naughty, naughty list area. That seems good for, for Sheriff Bauble. Blitzen, we, we, I guess we could have some sort of hospital. That seems fine. I'm not really sure how you put a jolly spin on a hospital. Make the pain stop. <laughs> if you've got any good Christmas goals in mind, stuff that might be challenging given the, the restrictions on things, I'm all ears. I think I think this is the this is such a weird concept, the most dangerous piece we'll run. But that would be kind of fun to, to push the edge up. I'm not really sure what to go for. Some sort of like uh, like fighting arena? That doesn't seem very appropriate. What's dangerous, but also peaceful? Snowball fights or something like that. Oh my god, snowball fights that kill you? That doesn't seem very on brand for Christmas. Oh! What do you mean? We've only just started. A group of pirates from Santa Loyalists have arrived nearby. A group of pirates? To near you fuckers, this was supposed to be a peaceful Christmas experience. I presume this goes both ways. I presume this goes both ways, right? I hit you with the crypto breath. You oh, Bauble's gonna die. Oh, Bauble, we've barely even st started. What about that Christmas AK? That's always good. Fire. Shoot the Christmas AK. It shoots um explosive baubles, by the way. Oh yes. Oh, this is good. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Sheriff Bauble, this is on you, my friend. We're not gonna stand for any Santa loyalists. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Oh, that's so silly. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good shot. Okay. Uh, Christmas breath. Christmas breath. Christmas breath. Please use that. Motherfucker, you are ignoring me, and it's... Oh, God. Nice, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. What are you doing? What is that you're doing? Some sort of Christmas magic. Some sort of reindeer nonsense. Reindeer games. Hey, Christmas breath. Go. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, hold on. That one's getting a little bit close. That one's getting a little bit close. Christmas breath! <laughs> oh, there's one still alive! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, if we do cryptothermia, how does that work? Is that enough to kill them? Freeze. Freeze. Yes! Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a delicate, this is a delicate, precious world. This is a delicate, precious world. Much like a delicate snowflake, it is very easy to break. That was horrible. That was too early for a raid, especially with that many people. Everything is fine in Christmas Village. This is a peaceful town. It's ev everything is okay. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't a happy ending. I mean, on the plus side, look, we get we get turrets. Because there's going to be Santa loyalists, right? We get turrets set up. Even a mini turret becomes like a, a deadly, unstoppable machine. How does that work? Like, do they also do instant damage to... What is that? You want an incendiary launcher? You get that shit out of here. That's not safe. If anything happens to these people now, they've got the happy ending. I will cry. This will be a Christmas disaster. Uranium conversion stuff. I can't bop anyone with that anymore. Just you wait. The first group social fight that breaks out is going to be a nightmare. In fact, I have I have more reason than I've ever had before in my life to make sure that these people are are happy. That they are, they are happy and that they are uh, no threat to one another whatsoever. We're going to have to focus on their social tabs. And if we see two people that don't like one another, we're going to have to keep them separated. Otherwise, people are going to die. Oh, damn, this is such a cool idea. God damn, why have I why have I done something so cool at the end of such a terrible other series? Of, of all the series to do a sequel to that's this cool, this was not the one. Christmas is a time of gripping, gripping fear. What we need is a little bit of steel now so that we can actually start cooking some meals. We've got a package of our meals, right? That's not going to keep anybody happy. And then I want to work. I, I I think maybe we should reorganize this a little bit. So I think I, I think houses for every elf is good. I, honestly, I think the hydroponics district is very important. The ice rink could probably come down a little bit. Um, 
<laughs> Wait, what was? That was the hospital. Oh, I should probably put that in brackets because I'm never going to remember what make the pain stop is. Oh, oh, bollocks. They used the steel on the Christmas tree. I mean, obviously, we've got to build that. That's that's high priority. So that is Christmas bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a Christmas tree before, motherfucker. But that's not it. That is not it. Oh, that one's dead. Wait, choose graphic. Hold on. You're lovely fetching Christmas cactus. I actually kind of like that a lot. We're going to go with the uh, with the old classic. With the traditional, with the faithful, enormous Christmas tree. Damn near kill me with your fucking Christmas cactus. What are you thinking? We can make some um, carnival fine meals. Bear in mind, I've just told them to fish if they haven't got anything else to do. So chances are we'll, we'll, we'll have enough always in stock for that. I suppose we've got plenty of Christmas meals just to start things off. And then any extra, put into fine meals, by all means. Oh, we're going to do some power first. That's right. Now, these are elves. It was a Christmassy time. How about a cryonic generator? I mean, a coal fire generator is also very appropriate. But we've got to be a bit more respectful of this world. It's been through a lot, okay? Cryonic generators I absolutely love. But, ooh, it's Neutramian, isn't it? Tidal generator? The lake giveth, the lake taketh away. We could put we could put one down. In fact, we could fit two in. I think if I'm if I'm careful with that, I think we can. Yeah, I think we can just fit two in there, can't we? Uh, uh, no, we're actually like a block off. Oh, that's so painful. What if we do like alternate ends of the pond? What if we do like one there? Oh yeah, that'll work. One there and one there. Oh, amazing. Thank you. No, we don't need that right now, of course. But that's just that's just kind of theory crafting for later. Okay, why is a single conduit $3.88? I've never seen that before. Okay, for our next building then, I'd like to suggest some sort of, uh, like Christmas power grid. <laughs> We're really struggling with branding on this one. But I think we want to capitalize on this geothermal generator that's just like right here. Let's put a, um, tentatively, I'm going to put a wooden wall around this very, very flammable building. There you go, you see? It's all just about branding. That's our little Christmas, Christmas power grid. Oh, Christmas presents again. It's Spark! What? What is going on? Well, Sparkles has been a very good boy. What about everyone else? I wonder how it chooses that. Oh, we need to get some recreation going. Um, I mean, what the, what the, what do you want? What do you want? You want a chess table? That's the best I can do. I mean, you've got to have a chess table because I, <laughs> I haven't got anything else. I could put a table down there and they could play like D&D. &D. That's a legitimate thing we, we, we've got. Oh, a piano is quite Christmassy. Let's move the chess table out to here then. And we'll put the piano in the corner. And that will be lovely. But, but I just beg you, just don't kill one another, okay? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I feel like I'm being held at ransom by my own Rim Rim colonists. We can build, we can build a hot spring. Oh! Oh, but that, that one... Ah, oh, man, I really like the idea of having that as a power grid, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, yeah, but it's right in the middle of the city. You can build a power grid elsewhere. Yeah, sod that. Sod that. Okay, you know what? This is now a uh, Christmas place directly on it. Hello? Space already occupied. Oh, it's like a weird shape. Ah, there we are. Just the, the graphic looks a little bit more off-center, but that works fine. We're going to turn this instead into a Christmas spa. Perfect. Who needs power or batteries or the ability to cook meals when you have a lovely hot spring? Sometimes I have trouble believing my own bullshit. <laughs> a kitty! A poor sweet kitten has been abandoned and we are taking it in for Christmas. God forbid that thing goes hungry. It's like a, what's like a Christmas name for a lovely sweet pet kitty cat? I'm going to call you Snowball. Sno snowy, snowy ball. There we are. Oh, he loves chess. He just loves chess. I'm going to tell you right now, you go Google this. Never before has anybody been murdered if a murderer has access to a hot spring. That doesn't make any sense. We've got an animal called Pickles the Donkey. Oh, wait, where's Pickles the donkey gone? Hello? What the hell? Pickles? <gasps> it would have instantly died. It would have instantly died. What happened to Pickles the donkey? Or Christmas presents. If, if this is Sparkles again, I'm going to be very upset. It's Blitzen. Oh, Santa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spreading the love, Santa. Oh, how could I forget the most important thing of all? Forget all this other crap on the list. Elf therapist. My God, that, that's the highest priority. Put that right at the top. Forget, forget beds, forget houses. That's way more important. I promise you right now from the deepest, darkest depths of my heart, Ronnie David was the randomized name for the elf counselor of the new Imperial cities, okay? That was random. We do have a name pack mod. It's probably not standard. That's amazing. That might be the best name I've ever seen. Uh, his friend, Votios Ch Ch Choniates, is interested in learning about other cultures and he wants you to host him at Cozy City for 10 days. If we do that, we can either get a Vanamech Pouncer, which is kind of interesting, Kaelin, the high mate.
Hello. Oh, shit. I think we found our new elf therapist. 67-year-old refugee. Torso stab scar. Probably from, the, probably from the Great War. Yeah, take him. Yeah, okay. Uh, and here we are. It's my good friend, Chonietes. Ch Welcome. I'll be honest, I haven't got a bed for you, but that's okay, because we're building a spa, so we, it could be a, a, a spa slash hotel. I mean, that wasn't my original plan for it, but that's what it's very quickly going to have to become. Oh, what a horrible reminder of the war that is past. The quest for Annabeth's sword. As I said, if we're feeling brave, this is our end goal. To collect the weapons of our fallen heroes from the prequel series. Annabeth's sword, Noel's hammer, and Cozy's mono sword. Ooh, hello there. We are pacifist. So we shouldn't really be gunning down caravan animals. They also apparently haven't got anything. Where the hell are these caravan animals? There's only a horse here. I have interest. You're not like upset. Recent conquest. Well, that's from that's from the war ending, so that doesn't really count. Yeah, no, you, it's it was self-defense, so that you're absolutely allowed. It's just we can't initiate violence. Here you are, my friend. Chony Artis, you get the finest spa bedroom. Enjoy, my friend. Ooh, Snowball has been a very good colonist. That's the kitty cat. I haven't got a bed for Snowball, so they just kind of dumped it in the living room. Oh, we need a bed for Snowball. Can I build out of anything? I know you can build an animal box, but I don't think I... Will that fit a large cat? Fit smaller animals, like chickens, cats, or small dogs? I don't know if I class a lynx as a... <laughs> as a small dog. I mean, it's a cat. Okay, I get that that was there. I think they're referring to just, like, generic kitty cat, not enormous lynx. Yeah, okay. Okay, I tried. Or caravan animals. Wait, what? Group of bison. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off at school? He said, uh, you've really got nothing that I want to kill you and take. So I guess I'll, I guess I won't worry about that. 126 out of 300 steel. Really wish I hadn't wasted all my steel on, um, vanity projects like an enormous Christmas tree. But these things happen. Or President Santa, this is getting silly. Stuffing has been a good colonist. You know, I think everybody's been a good colonist. And I think it's time to do a little unboxing. Come along, everybody. Come and open your presents, everyone. That's it. Gather round. Gather round. It's a lot. Even our guest. Even our guest can take part in the Christmas spirit. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Oh, lots of delicious cookies. Maybe we'll make a... Oh, desserts are great. Maybe we'll make a cookie bakery at some point. And we could have stuffing run that one instead. Maybe instead of a restaurant. It does seem a bit more a bit more Christmassy to have a, have a, have a cookie. What do you call that? I guess a baker is the right word. Barkles, that isn't positive. You get that out of your mind right now. Spend time thinking about corruption. There's no corruption here. There's a positive world. There's a positive, lovely world where nothing can go wrong. Oh. Oh, look at all these Christmas treats. Thank you, little Ambrosia. That will stop our people killing each other in social fights. Big fan of that. And of course, gingerbread plates. We could use, we could, we could build the cookie bakery out of gingerbread. That would be incredible. Ooh, and kapow. Power Grid is online. Would you look at that? And now we can cook some bloody meals. No. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you ruined Christmas, you motherfucker. Where are they? Where are you? Oh, God. Oh, there's so many. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, this is positive. There's a nice, positive, happy ending. The stick bugs can join us for Christmas. I'm not happy about it, but they can join us for Christmas. Oh, God, there's so many. Oh, God, there's so many. Are they going to eat my crops? I mean, I haven't got any crops. It's not really an issue. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Could tame them. Use them as a stick bog army. Labor outsourcing. Elf Council Wondrous Platitudes wants us to lend them one colonist for six days. If we do that, <laughs> we get an enormous yeti called Mixu willing to join us. <laughs> Hello. I will admit, I read that as Miku to begin with. Um... Wow, okay, I'd be happy to get you to join us. Menagerous nudist, okay, you could look after Santa's reindeer, questionably. I would love a yeti again. Yeti, a high mate, we're gonna get, we, we've got a reindeer. If we could then get another Grinch and another Krampus, we've got, we've got a whole squad. That'd be lovely to get, okay. Uh, you want me to lend you a colonist? Fine, yeah, we can do that. It's all about helping one another. We give them, one of our people, as a gift temporarily uh, and help them out, and they'll give us a gift back because that's what Christmas is about. It's a season of giving. Well, mainly taking, though. Mainly ta If you know me, it's mainly taking. I seem to I seem to give a lot more than I receive. Mainly, mainly like my mental health and sleep, but for the most part. Where's my shuttle? Hey, should we send a shuttle? Shuttle arrives in, ah, oh, I see, sorry, yes. Sorry, I thought you'd forgotten. It's Christmas, I shouldn't be angry at you. Hello there. Um. Who should we send? 
Send this guy. <laughs> um, Blitzen, I'm going to send you. Maybe they need medical help. And I'd like you to go and spread kindness and joy. She was wearing a Santa hat. Oh, that's so lovely. <gasps> so is Bauble. How many did we get as gifts? Can everybody wear one? Sparkles? Sparkles doesn't have one. Mixu is here. Hello. We've got ourselves a Yeti. Welcome. What is that you've got to quit? That doesn't seem very Christmassy. You're stuck in that. Oh, God. <gasps> no, you're fetching dress. No, you can put that back on. You can put that fetching dress back on. Hello. This is a fever dream. What have you got in your hands? It's okay. Like all good Yetis. Mixu has a flared base. What is going on in here? I've lost control. This is just looking at this this screen alone. This is a fever dream. Now the Yeti is training our pet cat. Our little baby kitten. Must be a tabby or something. No, we're going to need another bedroom, aren't we? I, I did put a fence up over here just again for, you know, like aesthetics reasons. But we could build a little house. We could build a little house for Mixu. I like that a lot. Let's put. Let's bring this fence across. And let's have that as uh, maybe like your animal... Your, your animal training area. We could put like a little barn. Mixu's veterinary clinic. Oh. Oh, that's so lovely. I like that a lot. Okay. You're going to need an actual house. And then what with the rest of the room, we'll give you some... We'll give you an area to keep the animals and keep them safe over Christmas. Oh, I like that a lot. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think that's so good. Maybe we won't keep this here forever. Maybe this eventually becomes a town hall or something like that. That's fine. This is okay, but this is just starting to feel like a proper a proper town center. Probably have to put up some market stores here. Maybe a caravan parking spot or something like that. But I'm happy with this. This is the goddamn happy ending I fucking wanted. Thank you all for joining me today on this nice Christmas epilogue tale. And I hope that the, the, the city I build ends up being lovely and kind. And we're going to document the process. And I'll do a time lapse at the end. And it's going to look superb. I can't wait to see the end of the city. We're not going to be playing this for long. You know, maybe just until New Year's, uh, as in like New Year's Day. Uh, just like five days or so of, of a little bit of city building. It's going to be mostly city building with, again, some high stakes. I, who knows? If people are enjoying it, I'm more than happy to carry on. But this will just be a kind of, again, like a nice, slow, easy series just to see the year out. And then I'll start work on the next mod pack. Thank you to Christian Copis, the stupid, the sexy, and the monstrous. Felpy, Ravenlock, Miranda the Mighty, Matt Lewin, Liddis, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Jared, Cosmosenti, Squinty Chimera, Imeria, Quiss, Tiny Magnus, Chase, Mythomatic, Archbishop, Daggett's, Variadic Integrity, Variadic Integrity, Sleepy257, Commissar JK, Floor1235, That Catto, Taff, Doc, Snuck, and Cole Bacon for their support. The executive producer here is over on Patreon. Thank you for making this series possible. Thank you for joining me and staying with me through the month of December. And of course, a thank you to Nikki in Wonderland, Stephen Collins, Raylan Gar, Sitatis Lingua, Cinder Sind, Paulus Bartis, Baconomics, Ichigo Nads, Buggy, Skylar Drake, Attila, Emerald Beam, Raptor Mother, Mad Maven, and Am Graymo as well. See you all tomorrow.